Okay, what we have here is one of my recent and most favorite rescued vehicles. It's a 59 Pontiac Star Chief, four-door sedan. Came out of Denver, Colorado. Um, before I go any further, I would like to say that those of you watching this, if you think all old cars should be perfect, shiny, and pretty, I would suggest you, uh, kindly suggest that you uh, hit the back button in the upper left hand corner of your computer screen because you're probably not going to like this vehicle. Those of you that like beat up old cars, stick around. This thing's pretty cool. So on Craigslist, the other, no, oh, it's been about a year ago. And this guy had a bunch of stuff for sale and it said, Old Pontiac Star Chief. Okay, I love Star Chief, so I uh, emailed him, had a crappy photo of this car surrounded by stuff. Just stuff. Flat tires, no hubcaps, looked like it had been in a war. Called him up and talked to him and bought it, obviously. Craigslist, by the way, and I'm sure most of you know this, is like crack to a drug addict. If you're a car guy, you can find so much stuff on there. That 62 Super Sport 4-speed car was on Craigslist. 60 Edsel Station Wagon next to it was on Craigslist. Parkwood, 1960 Parkwood was on Craigslist. As you can tell, I like Craigslist. Anyway, so I emailed the guy. I was talking to him on the phone, excuse me. And he, uh, we made a deal on it. Uh, on the is he bought it from a salvage auction at a uh, tow lot. The car was abandoned at a cabin up in Dillon, Colorado. And uh, I guess new owners bought the cabin and wanted this old junker towed out of the trees. So they called a uh, tow company down in Denver to come get it. Just get it out of here. So they did. And so Doug, the guy I bought it from, who actually in turn became a good friend of mine, kept the car. He was actually going to turn it into a couch because, honestly, if he saw it before, it was it was beat to death. It was still cool, but beat up. He, uh, he kept it for a while, was going to make a couch out of it, never got around to it, thankfully, and then put it on Craigslist to see if anybody wanted it. Um, let's go inside real quick. There we go. Original, but basically original interior. But anyway, so I buy it, bring it home. I was thinking it was just going to be a boat anchor old car because, you know, the, the passenger window was down, been down for years and years, and it was full. Uh, I'll put my phone in there. Full up to here, front to back, back seat, front seat with trash. I mean, you name it, it was full of it. Just it was disgusting. And the trunk was full of trash. I mean, it, when it was in the trees, it had been used as a dumpster, I think, just because it was a beater. But anyway. Cleaned all that stuff out, and I still just thought it was just going to be a, a cheap uh, yard ornament because I love 59 Pontiacs and I bought it because it was cool looking. I could care less if it runs. Get it home, and I thought the motor was stuck and was playing around with it. A friend of mine, truck driver friend of mine, came in uh, one evening and I said, Yeah, look at this Pontiac I got. And it was still up on the trailer. And I said, Yeah, motor's stuck. But I showed him the motor. It's a 389. Pink paddles. Nice. 389 with a two barrel. And I grabbed the fan, and sure enough, that thing spun right over. So I was like, you've got to be kidding me. We uh, took the plugs out, uh, put a battery in it, and man, that thing turned over great. So, oh, a little tune-up and water pump, fuel pump, all that crap a little bit later. We had this thing running. So something that I had no plans on being a running vehicle turned out to be a running vehicle. I was very happy. And it's kind of funny, it's got power brakes, but the brakes pumped up. I put some fluid in them. They need to be gone through, but they still work. Stops, moves, starts, stops, goes in gear. So I was really happy with that. And I emailed Doug some pictures of it and told him that I got it running and, and uh, whatnot and put some tires on it. And he, he was really happy. He just he thinks it's, it's a great story. He was really happy he didn't cut into a couch then. I said 389 two barrel. Pretty original car. Interior, you know, I mean, <laughs> windshield obviously needs replaced. I have one for it. I have a gasket for it. 
to be honest, I just haven't done it. So I will. Pretty decent dash. Good chrome. Just a, kind of a neat old car, really. One that I'm really happy didn't get turned into a couch. Because there's, you know, there's just not many 59 Pontiacs there, and Pontiacs out there, and they got a great style to them. Pretty cool floor mat. It's still kind of dirty, but. And I'm gonna going to have to redo the door panels because they're kind of bad at the bottom. But the carpet has I don't know if you can see it, but the carpet has a metal flake in it. That's the original carpet. Let's see if I can find that correct carpet. And I know it's not gonna be original, but. I really don't care. It's just gonna be neat. But take this seam right here, have it recardboarded, take it at that seam, and put that carpet on the bottom. Because this original material is heat seamed. Oh, sorry, I'm watching the. There you go. That original material is heat seamed. You know, so to do it original, it'd be expensive. I think if we just recardboard them and put carpet on it, it'd look good. It wouldn't be original, but again, I mean. I'm not going to be winning any concourse or show for this car. Unless it's a concourse, which I would happily go to. Back door panel's pretty decent. Back seats are nice. And I was really surprised that this car is, you know, minus a few spots here and there, really rust free. Package tray's got a beautiful look to it. But this car's pretty rust free. I mean, there's a small spot in the right front floor. Typical the doors leak a little bit. That door's got a little spot right there, a little spot in the rocker. Background a quarter, but really that's that's it. I mean, the trunk pan's even nice in this whole car. The trunk pan that didn't get turned into a couch. But it's just a neat old car, and I absolutely love four-door cars. So again. If anybody's watching this and think it should have been turned into a couch, you should have uh, hit the back button a long time ago. Because I have a lot of four-door cars and I will continue to buy them. I love them. That and my kids can fit in the back. Don't have to flip the seat forward or anything like that. There it is from the back. Now, I'm going to start it up here in just a minute. Show you how smooth it runs. It's really loud. <laughs> Does not have exhaust on it. Never did when I got it. It was just straight out of the exhaust manifold. So it's going to be obnoxious like a trash truck. I will get exhaust put on it. Alright, let's try this here. <laughs> I love that wind. That windshield's almost a work of art. It's like almost a crime to take it out. It's kind of cool, but pretty sure it won't pass inspection with that windshield, so. All right, let's try this here. That's it, sounds like a trash truck. We're running good. And like I said, shifts good, goes into gear, drives, stops, all that stuff. Huh? Really, with minimal work. I think I probably have $200 in. Die. 
Radiator doesn't even leak, and I didn't do a thing to the radiator. Pretty good old car, uh, but Denver environment is usually really kind on cars. I love cars from Colorado. Absolutely love them. They're usually really nice, and you know, even if they sit outside, they're still kind of beat up. They're just, they're just decent old cars. So, I polished one side, and I have yet to polish this side. When I do, it'll look good. And here someday I'll do a story on that Mercury. That's a 65 Monterey 4, four speed car. Factory. Transcode 5 4 speed. 4 speed Wildcat. 300 horse. 327 4 speed. 62 Super Sport. Came off a ranch in Colorado. 60, 62. Idiot. 60 Edsel Station Wagon. Of course, an old. Impala, 65 sedan. This Parkwood was another one I saved. Off of a, it was going to be crushed. Guy says, I know what the crusher will pay. So I paid what the crusher would pay plus 75 bucks. What do you do? Get it home and again, it looked like it was. I think the name Dodge right there too. Look that give was garbage. I know this is not the Pontiac, but watch this. Cylinder, three on the tree. This car sat for 20 years in a field, and really, I've done nothing to get it. I put plugs in it, and I flushed out the block, and that's it. I've done nothing to this car yet. I'll get it driving, but fired right up. I'm really happy. Those little six cylinders are pretty tough to, pretty tough to kill. But anyway, we'll do a story on that one later. But for now, there's a. Neat old beater Pontiac that escaped the fate of 80% of these. Didn't get sent to China to be made into crappy products that we buy at places. We'll be driving down the road someday. Anyway, talk to you later.